Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building Soviet cruiser Visti Admiral Drost. Visti Admiral Drost was the third ship of the Project 1134 Burkut, large anti-submarine ships built for the Soviet Navy. They were also known as the Cresta 1 class or Admiral Zozula class guided missile of cruisers. The vessel was launched on November 18, 1966 and served with the Baltic Fleet for the 1970s and 1980s, as well as taking part in naval exercises in the Atlantic. The ship assisted in the rescue of the crew of the stricken submarine K-19 in March 1972. Subsequently, the ship was visited by Sergei Groskov, commander of the Soviet Navy. The vessel was reclassified a large rocket ship in 1977 to reflect its multi-purpose capability. After an upgrade in 1981, Vista Admiral Dros continued to operate in the Mediterranean Sea and Atlantic Ocean until being decommissioned on July 1, 1990. The ship was sent to India to be scrapped in March 1992, but sank en route. So, kind of a sad story there at the end. I'm not sure what exactly happened there, um, where it sank when it was en route. That's kind of crazy that that happened, but I guess it did. Um, but yeah, the Admiral Dros here, um, a pretty cool guided missile destroyer and just a really cool ship to add to our ever-growing Soviet Cold War and modern navy. This here is, a, again, a perfect ship to add into that fleet. And honestly, these Russian and Soviet ships are just so cool. I mean, they're, when you combine a bunch of these together, they just look so mean and so intimidating um, compared to the modern contemporary designs at the time, which were more kind of just sleek and um, everything was more integrated. This thing was like, how many weapons can we strap on a warship? And I do absolutely love it. Um, so before we go ahead and jump in and take a look at this build, I do want to go ahead and give a big thanks to Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible through the means of a commission. Um, if you guys are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, definitely feel free to reach out to me via my email, garrett 2 4 at gmail.com, or through my Discord server, and we can go and discuss uh, pricing and all that stuff for commissions. It's uh, just a good way to get a request that you really want built in a timely manner, as your build requests would take priority every, over everybody else. Um, so yeah, definitely take advantage of that if you are interested. But with that, let's go ahead and dive in here to take a look at Visti Admiral Drost. So starting off with, we have the front of the ship here. Really nothing too fancy about it. We have uh, the missile launcher here. I believe this is anti uh, ship missiles or anti-air one of the two um, they have the uh, this missile launcher ship here that launches these two large uh, missiles then uh, behind that we have the rocket pods so very similar to that, like the Muscava um, this here has those side rocket pods located here though granted not at that big of an angle or nearly as large we have the forward conning tower the bridge um, a bunch of the guidance and radar systems and stuff like that um, same thing back here in this section here and then we have our lifeboats our funnel and continuing on back we have another one of our uh, instruments and then another one of those rocket launchers we also have a deck on the back here that allows the landing of a helicopter so uh, overall really cool ship uh, has a lot of good detail on it and some pretty good weapons good pack-a-punch uh, capability and again it's gonna make an awesome addition to any of your um, Cold War BAFTA build fleets as a main kind of um, Soviet capital ship of it. Anyways though, with that let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our uh, first uh, layers here. We have layers 1 and 2. Now we're starting off layers 1 and 2 together because layer 2 is kind of a main layer and layer 1 really is just going to be adding some stuff to the bottom so we might as well just knock these out together as we um, get into this layer. Now to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and set up our first layer, which is going to be layer number two. Now layer two here is going to be in line with the water. You can see the blue concrete here representing that water level, and that is where you want your um, your hole to sit. So this right here is going to be um, sitting right there at that water level, and very important to make sure that's good to go because if you're building this in the water, which I imagine most of you guys are probably going to do, it will not sit right if you have it too high or too low below that line. Anyways though, once you have that squared away, we're going to go ahead and then place down a red nether brick up down stair going forward. So that's going to be the front of our ship there. And we're going to go ahead and go back from the red concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Uh, red concrete blocks back. Actually, there's going to be one less. So just like that. We're going to go and then place down a red nether brick top slab. And then a second top slab back from that. And then an acacia wood trap door. Red stained glass pane. And a red nether brick wall. 
After that's all done, we're going to go then place down a uh, red nether brick wall that's going to come off this slab here. Same thing over here. And then another slab going back, or another wall going back from those ones like that. We're going to go and then place down a red nether brick stair to both sides coming off those walls. And we're also going to go and place down a cage with signs on the sides here of those walls. So just like this to both sides. Then we want to go ahead and take our birchwood slabs. We're going to place down a birchwood slab going back from these stairs. And then we're going to place down two acacia wood trap doors going back from those slabs. So just like that. Once that's all done, we're going to go and take our red nether brick stairs. We're going to place down one, two, upside down stairs. And there are two upside down stairs like that. And then we're going to take our red concrete and go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our red nether brick walls. We're going to place down two walls going forward and then two red stained glass panes going forward from those walls. And then a case wood trap door to both sides of this very last red concrete block there on the top. We're going to go ahead and then go to the bottom here of our hole and we're going to go, ahead and go 1, 2, 3, 4. And on this fifth red concrete block back, we're going to place down a red another brick top slab on the bottom of it and then these outer rows here we're gonna go back one two three four five six seven eight uh our eighth red concrete block back we're gonna place down a red acacia wood trap door and a red acacia wood sign coming off the side of that trap door we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side directly across from it and once you have that all done right there that is going to wrap up everything we have for layers one and two for the build and with that we'll be going ahead and jumping up to layer number three moving on to our next layer we have layer number three for layer three we're going to start off by placing down a stone block here on top of that red nether brick upside down stair a red or a stone upside down stair coming off of it and then we're going to place down an iron trap door to both sides of this stone block now if you're on java we'll go ahead and type in the command slash give space at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick so this command right here and pressing enter will give you this glowing debug stick we can then left click these uh trap doors till we get selected um open false right click this set this open to true and it'll set a flat against the size of the stone block you can go ahead and substitute this out for um some uh birchwood trap doors if you need to and you don't have access to a debug stick after that, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four stone blocks down the center here with andesite walls to the sides of these last two blocks. And then we're going to go ahead and grab light gray stingless panes and place down two light gray stingless panes forward. After that, going back from these walls, we're going to place down two polished direct blocks on the sides. And then one, two, three, four stone blocks that are going to have polished black stone buttons on the side of those blocks. And same thing over here on this side as well. We're going to go ahead and continue on with our stone back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On the last three blocks, we're going to have polished black stone buttons. So we get 10 on this side and our polished black stone buttons. Then taking our stone again, we're going to build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 back. And over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 back. Again, virtual buttons on the sides here of these last two blocks, just like that. After that's done, in the middle space here, we're going to place down a stone brick um, block. And then we're going to place down two birchwood or two, three acacia wood slabs across. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves polished blackstone. We're going to place down three polished blackstone slabs, a smooth quartz slab in the middle, polished blackstone to both sides, and then another row three of polished blackstone across the back. Then once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone upside down, or so normal stone stair that's going to be right here coming off that middle slab. And to the sides of it, we want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull so we're gonna place it down here at about a 45 degree angle to the sides of the stair which is just gonna help round off the back here of the ship and also from the previous layer I did forget to include this but we do want to go ahead and make sure we place an acacia wood trap door on the bottom of this stone stair just to keep that color consistent there for the bottom of the hull and then lastly we're just gonna take some birchwood signs and we're gonna place them along the sides here of the slabs like this across and same thing will be done over here on this side as well and if you're, um, you know, OCD like me, I like to go ahead and fill the inside end of the ship here with stone as well, just to avoid leaving that gap, but it is not necessary. 
Um, and then we though, that is going to complete everything we have here for layer number three of the build. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number four. For layer four to start with, if you're on Java, we're going to place down a piston right here. If you are not on Java, I'd recommend probably a stone full block as an alternative to the piston. We're going to place down a stone upside down stair coming off that piston. And then to the side of the piston itself, we're going to place down skeleton skulls to both sides. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves the stone cutter and we're going to place down a stone cutter like this right behind that. And we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a daylight detector and place down a daylight detector here and turn to the night mode. We're also going to place down skeleton skulls on the sides of this stone cutter as well as a skeleton skull at a slight angle on top of these um, glass panes and then just straight on like that right behind those. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone block in the middle here and then a second stone block followed by an andesite wall to the sides here. We then want to take our stone and we're going to build a, put a stone block to the sides and we're going to go ahead and then place down a or stripped acacia wood block there in the center, followed by a second block back. Then we're going to place down a stone block to the sides and then another stripped acacia wood block in the center and again a stone block to the sides there. On the sides of these three stone blocks, we're going to place down three polished black stone buttons. And we can also go ahead and place down a stone stair to the sides here and a stone block in the center. We're going to go and then go back two more stone blocks down the center here with two stone brick full blocks on the sides. We're also going to go ahead and place down a birchwood sign on the side of these stairs. So it would be like that to the, both sides. Then taking our stripped acacia wood, we're going to place down two stripped acacia wood blocks down the center. A light gray stained glass pane to the sides. And then a stone block going back from those glass panes. We're going to build another two stone blocks down the center here. Which is going to be followed up with a white bed to the sides and then one two three more stone blocks back which again uh, we're going to go, and go to the sides or actually my bad it's going to be um, a deep slate tile block in this middle so we have two stone blocks deep slate tile block and then two more on the sides of the deep slate tile we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate like this to the sides we're going to go ahead and then place down a item frame that's going to be on the side of this um, fence gate so coming off of it like so and there we go and then a birchwood or a white bed in the item frame so just like that and if you're on java we can also go ahead and take a birchwood sign and place it on the side here um, of those fence gates just a little side note here is that java is the only version allowed to place down item frames and signs in the same block space if you are not on java you will not be able to do that feature then um, also if you're on java we can place an item frame underneath the um, fence gates here just to kind of help keep the color of the deck a little bit more consistent then after we have that done we're going to go ahead and then place down a iron trap door to both sides here and again we'll place an item frame if you're on java on the floor there and then we want to go ahead and place down a andesite wall in the center and then we're going to go, ahead and go back from that with one two three four five six uh seven and seven stone blocks and then a stone brick block on the back here now we also want to go ahead and substitute the block underneath this wall for a stripped acacia wood block. So we're going to go ahead and change it like so. And we can go ahead and also place down a acacia wood pressure plate to the sides here and then a skeleton skull to the sides. And then another acacia wood um, pressure plate to the sides. We're going to go ahead and place down an andesite wall to both sides. A light gray stained glass pane to the both sides and then an andesite wall again to both sides like that. We're going to go ahead and grab a birchwood fence gate again. We're going to place down a fence gate here, open it up to the sides here, just like we did before. And again, we'll take an item frame and we're going to place down an item frame here on the side of the fence gate. And we're going to place down a white bed in the item frame like that again. Uh, like we've been doing, we're going to go ahead and also place down a birchwood sign on the side there if you're on Java. So same thing will be done over here on this side, just like this. After that's done, we then want to go ahead and place down an acacia wood pressure plate like this to both sides and then we're going to place down a andesite wall or sorry light gray stained glass pane and then two andesite walls one on each side and then on the very back here we're just going to go and place down a iron bar on top of this stair to go ahead and finish that off once you have that all done right there though that's going to wrap up everything we have for uh this layer and uh with that we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer which will be layer number Five. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to start with, we're going to place down a iron bar on top of this stair right here in the front, and then a acacia wood pressure plate on top of this stone block. If you're on Java and you have the piston right here, we can also use our debug stick. Left click it till we get selected extended fulls. Right click it and you can get rid of that wood portion and that's going to create the uh, shape there for the front of our bow. 
once uh, that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a um, anvil that's going to sit right behind this pressure plate. So like so. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a birchwood fence gate to the sides here of that anvil. After that, uh, behind this, we're going to go ahead and place down a redstone repeater. So separate the notches apart from each other and then in case you would pressure plate to the sides there. Behind that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a end rod to both sides and then a skeleton skull that's going to be on that middle acacia wood block. We're going to go then place down a stone block here, and then a, again a case with pressure plate to the sides. We're going to go back with our stone blocks, one, two, three more, so you have a total of four. A iron trap door on the sides of the fourth block, and then we're going to go and place down a light gray banner on the side of those iron trap doors, so just like that. Once uh, that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a flower pot on these glass panes to the sides there. And then we're going to place down a daylight detector here in the center, turn that to night mode, and then a case you would pressure plate to both sides as well. And then we're going to place down two stone blocks across this space here on the side of those stone blocks. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull forward and a trip bar hook. Same thing here, actually sorry, trip bar hook forward. And then a wither skeleton skull behind that. Then we're going to place down another deep slate tile block, and then another stone block back like so. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then uh, place down a white bed that's going to go on top of this fence gate here. And then coming off of that uh, white bed, we're going to be going ahead and place, or rather we're going to place down an iron trap door that's kind of on this top portion of the block. So it's going to sit like that right behind that bed. After that's done, we're going to take our acacia wood pressure plates, uh, build one, two, three back, and then we're going to place down a stone block. After that stone block, we want to go ahead and then place down a piston if you're on Java. If you're not on Java, I'd recommend probably just a their stone block, but for Java, we'll place down the piston. Then we're going to place down a acacia wood pressure plate here to both sides, and then I would actually recommend probably an end rod instead of a fence post there, so we're actually going to place down an end rod here to both sides of this piston or full block. Then we're going to place down a row three of our um, pressure plates, and we're going to go need an anvil again, and we're going to place down another anvil on top of this stone block here, with a birchwood fence gate to both sides again for another missile launcher system. And then going back from this, we're gonna go and take our daylight detectors, we're gonna place down three, turn those to that night mode, and then we're also gonna go and grab our flower pots and place down two flower pots on top of these glass panes and walls. So that right there is going to basically complete what we have here for this layer. So again, here is a uh, kind of a top-down view of what that should look like so far with everything done. With that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number six. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to start with, we're going to place down a iron trap door on top of this anvil. And then on top of these end rods, we're just going to go ahead and build up a row of iron bars. So we're going to build up a, a column of three iron bars up like that, just to go ahead and finish off those antenna. Then we want to go ahead and place down a stone block right here. Coming off that stone block, we're going to place down an item frame. And then in that item frame, we want to go ahead and place down a black bed. That's going to be rotated to face like this. And then we can place a birchwood sign on the side of it if you're on Java. And also if you're on Java, we can place an item frame on top of the stone block and we can place down a stone block in the item frame. So again, a couple additions there if you're on Java. Then we're going to place down item frames to both sides of the stone block. Again, we're going to place down black beds in the item frames and rotate them so that they face like this. And again, we're going to place down a birchwood sign to the sides here of those stone blocks like that. After that's done, we're going to place down another stone block back, and then a andesite wall. We're also going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides of that stone block, as well as an acacia wood pressure plate on top of these um, trap doors. We then want to go ahead and place down an item frame on the side here of that pressure plate, as well as a birchwood sign on the back side here. In those uh, item frames, we're going to place down a snow block, and again, if you're on Java, we'll place a birchwood sign on the same side there as the... Um, pressure plate one thing to keep note is be careful when walking around these because if you do walk on the pressure plate it will cause the fence or the signs and item frames to break so just keep that in mind um, after that though we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block here and this is going to have an iron trap door to the sides of it and then we're going to go ahead and then place down another stone block back with a wither skeleton skull to the sides of that once we have that done we're going to place down an additional one and two stone blocks back and then we're gonna have iron trap doors on the side here of these stone blocks we'll be using our debug stick again so if you need to go ahead and uh, re-grab it um, but we're gonna go and then just use our debug stick here to go ahead and close those trap doors like that 
we're also going to have uh, our iron trap doors here and we're going to have our item frames on the sides of these uh, trap doors like that and then snowballs in the item frames and then we're going to place down birchwood signs on these sides here and then we're going to go and grab a birchwood fence gate and place it like this here in the middle to go ahead and form um, that right there. After that's done, we're going to then place down a stone brick wall, which is going to sit on top of this wall here. And we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull that's going to come off of it like this on the back. And then a birchwood sign to both sides of that, uh, of that like so. Then again, if you're on Java, we're going to place down an iron trap door here. And we'll go ahead and open it like that so it sits flat against the wall. If you do want to, you can break the wall, replace it, and it should connect up to that iron trap door. Um, you can also place down a birchwood trap door if you want as well. Um, as an alternative and just make sure you replace those signs if needed. Then we're going to go ahead and take our iron bars and we're going to go ahead and build the antenna on the back here. So for this we're just going to go ahead and go up three iron bars again from each one of these end rods on the back there like that. Also if you're on Java we can go ahead and go to this piston here and we can just go ahead and right click it and get rid of that wood portion. Just be careful around this block and make sure you don't um, place anything near it. And then we're just going to place down an iron trap door on top of that. Um, anvil to go ahead and finish off what we have there for that layer. Anyway, so that's going to wrap up everything we have for layer number six of the build. At this point in time, we're probably just going to be going ahead and moving into our last final layers of the build. So with that, let's go ahead and finish off the rest of the build for our last final layers. All right, guys, so moving into our last final layers, we have layers 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So um, quite a bit to go on here, um, but uh, really easy stuff for the most part. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be going ahead and going up here to the front and on top of this um, iron frame here, we're going to go ahead and place down two um, iron bars that go up like so. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone block on top of this space here, and then we're going to place down a light gray stainless pane right behind it like so. On top of this, we're going to go ahead and place down a um, stone brick wall. So like this, and we're going to place down our iron trap door coming off that stone brick wall. And again, we'll use our debug stick to close it. And we can go ahead and replace that stone brick wall and it should connect up like so. Again, you can use a birchwood trap door as an alternative. And then to the sides of it, we're going to place down a birchwood sign. And we're also going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull. Like this, coming off it toward, going toward the back. Now, if you're on Java... We're gonna, we can go ahead and actually do a cool technique here to kind of make this look a little bit nicer. We can place down a block here to the side and same thing up here. So these blocks are just kind of off to the side and we can place down a lever on the side of these blocks. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna left click the levers. So this bottom one, we're gonna go and left click till we get selected face wall. We're gonna right click this, set this to ceiling. And the one up on top here, we're gonna set this to floor. We're gonna go and left click this again till we get selected facing and we're gonna go and rotate this around until they point toward the front. And this just kind of helped create a better look there for this, uh, you know, system that's located up on the top of this mass. So that is what we're doing there for that. And then also, again, if you're on uh, Java, I'd recommend probably an item frame on top here just to kind of help keep that deck color a little bit more consistent around the build. Now, after that's done, we're going to go ahead and also place down a lever on the back here. Now, if you don't have access to a debug stick, I'd recommend probably just a birchwood fence gate like so. But if you do have the debug stick, we're going to build a block here to the side and we're going to place down a lever and we're going to go and rotate this around. So we'll left click this um, till we get selected facing and we'll just rotate this around. And depending on your orientation, you may have to do it a couple of times, but it should look like that there. Now, once that's all done, we're going to go and then grab ourselves some chains. We're going to build one and two chains up and then an iron bar. So just like that. And also on top of the stone brick wall here, we do want to place down a skeleton skull on top. So almost forgot that. Just make sure you include that there. Now once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone block here. And to the side of that stone block, we're going to place down two iron bars to the sides. And we're going to go ahead and place down a andesite wall here. And then a light gray stained glass pane. And then another stone block on top of that. Then we're going to place down another stone block up. Uh, a lever on the side of this block facing toward the rear. And we're going to go ahead and place down two wither skeleton skulls on the sides here, like that. Now once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull on the side of this block here. And we're going to go ahead and go beneath it, and we're going to place down two iron bars, or actually, sorry, three iron bars across like that. And also below that as well, we're going to have a tripwire hook. And then on top of the skeleton skull, we're going to place down three iron bars across, just like that as well. We're going to go ahead and place down a andesite wall here in the center. And then a birchwood fence gate to the sides there like so. Behind the fence gate, we're going to place down a polished blackstone upside down stair that's going to be on top of that lever. 
So just like that. And then on top here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some of the instruments. So for this, we're gonna have a uh, another brick fence post on top of the wall, a flower pot on top of that, a dark oak fence gate here, open it up toward the back, and a end rod on top of that. And then after that's all done to the sides, we're gonna go ahead and take our iron bars and just build three iron bars up like that on the side. So pretty straightforward stuff there, and that's gonna complete that mass like that. Now, after that's all done, we want to go ahead and then place down a polished black stone slab here and then a wither skeleton skull to both sides of that slab. We're going to go ahead and also place down a black concrete block behind that with, again, wither skeleton skulls to the sides of it. Then we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate on the back, open it up toward that block. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a black carpet like this and a polished black stone wall on top of it. Once uh, that's done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a... With a, or sorry, a skeleton skull on top of this wall in the back here. And uh, we can do the same thing we did for the uh, Ford section. And we can only do it on the top this time, but we can place down a lever. So let me go and grab one. A lever like this. We can go and left click this. Selected face will set this to floor. And then rotate it if need be, doing the previous way we did it. But uh, for me, I didn't need to rotate it. So it'll look just like that there for um, that rear section. And once you have that all done right there, that's going to complete everything we have there for layers 7 through 13. And that's going to complete my tutorial here for uh, the Soviet cruiser Veste Admiral Drozd, uh, a Cresta 1 class, um, basically anti-submarine or guided missile cruiser. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this uh, build and are able to put it to good use. If you do use this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This could be a thing from a sign of the build, tweak my channel or this video if this does appear to social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it. Your free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Again, a big thanks to Derek Frost Westbrook for making this uh, tutorial possible for your commissioning. And definitely feel free to take a look at my commissioning program through one of the um, means of contact that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, with that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.